Welcome to Space Based Autopia Strategy Guide number three. And this time we hire some true biological employees in addition to our mechanical fuzzies. The universe is wide and big. How should all life forms know that our space based utopia even exists? Life forms? Why do we need this? The currency in this game is energy. The ad for that is up here. If our guests like it, they are also ready to leave energy for our services and attractions. For this reason, we have to locate the other forms of life and lead them to us. For this, we need a communication center. You can find this via the construction menu here. Once placed, the fuzzies will go straight to work. But the communication center does not work on its own. We need employees. The breed of Burgetorians, also called Bucks, is best suited for this job. They are a telepathically plagued species that will telepathically communicate all of their thoughts to others. Unless they talk almost incessantly. If you click on your communication center, you will see that four workers are required so that everything runs correctly. Since all your employees get tired and have to take a break, I give you the tip to set at least eight bucks so that the communication center can be operated in two shifts. Check your units more often, because the longer an employee works for you, the more XP he receives and would like to be rewarded for his performance. Also applies to all employees, if they do not feel that they are in good hands with the space-based Autopia, they will quit and you have to hire someone new. You can not only increase your energy income through your guests, but also by recycling waste and other rubbish. To do that, you need a recycling station. Of course, you can also find these in the construction menu. The recycling station also needs employees. The Telgor are best suited for this. The Telgor's home planet was used by other species for centuries as a garbage planet before it was discovered that the Telgor were indeed an intelligent species. They like to handle garbage. As discussed in the last strategy guide, the fuzzies collect the garbage and throw it into the garbage bot. As soon as this is filled, it takes its content to the recycling station. Completely, automatically. But nobody would complain if you land a hand, collect rubbish and deposit it directly in the recycling station. It can happen again and again that terrorists try to plant bombs on your decks. If you can find them before they explode, you can also put them in the recycling station. It can handle it and gains more energy from it than from ordinary garbage. Later, we'll talk about toxic waste. You could also put it directly into the recycling station, but that's not so clever. We will definitely find a way to handle this toxic waste and theoretically you can throw everything into your recycling station, but I think that is not so clever. Next time we're focusing on staying and your medical treatment. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, until next time, bye.